Hi, in this week's video, I'm going to be talking about how to adjust and um, calibrate your E, X, Y, and Z steps on the under 3 or similar. So the first thing you're going to want to do to calibrate your extruder, which is what we're going to calibrate first, is take your calipers and measure about 120 millimeters, as close to 120 as you can, and then you're going to clip it there. Now, this isn't the only way to do it, but it's just the way that I do it, because it's one that will work for almost all printers. Then you're going to go into motion and you're going to move the extruder 100 millimeters. Now that that's done, you're going to come in with your clippers and clip it off as close to the extruder as you can. Now you're going to take your calipers and you're going to measure this bit of filament that you just got off of your printer. Now it should be about 20 millimeters. So in this case, mine's 23.9. So you're going to take away 20 millimeters from that. So then I have 3.9 millimeters. So in the end, my printer extruded uh, 97.1. So now you're going to go to this website, which is an e-step calculator. So now you're going to put in your current e-steps, and that in this case, for the under 3, it is 93 millimeters. And then you're going to put in the length that was extruded, so in this case, 97.1. Now, you have the new e-steps, which is 95.78. Now you're going to come back to your printer and you're going to go into settings or configuration in this case. And you're going to find steps per millimeter. And find E steps. Now this is 93. And the E step calculator said 95.78. So. We are going to set the E steps to 97.58. Next, you're going to go back to configuration and you're going to click store settings so it doesn't lose that data when you turn off the printer. Now that you have calibrated it, you can go through the process again to check and see if you got it right. If you didn't, sometimes it takes several times. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to print the calibration key. And here's mine. And when you measure it, it should be 20 millimeters on all sides. So this side, That's about right. The Z is 19.71, so we'll adjust that. So now that we've done our E steps, we're going to put 97 because we got 19.7 uh, for our length that was extruded. Put 400 for our Z steps, if that's what your printer has. And then your new E-step value, 412.37. So we're going to do 412.3, and we're going to put that in the Z-steps, not the E-steps. So I'm going to go back into configuration, advanced settings, 
steps per millimeter, and then Z. Now, 412.3. So, we need 412.3. Now we're going to store settings again. And there you go. Next time you print this calibration cube, it should be just right. If it's not, follow this video again, and that should do it. Don't forget to subscribe.